At some point in life, you've got to take responsibility for your growth. At some point in life, you've got to take responsibility for your development. You have more information at the tip of your fingers than the president of the United States had 40 years ago. Knowledge isn't power. Only applied knowledge is power. What's good people listen this is a different type of video this is like a vlog style video but um i needed to have this conversation with you i needed to have this conversation with you you can call this a bit of a pep talk right and you know for this is this is for everybody who has grown up in the hood who has grown up in an environment where they weren't taught about business where they weren't taught about entrepreneurship where they weren't taught about investment where they weren't taught about any of those things right this is this is for us. This is for those underdogs. I, I've got a little pep talk. I've got a little message for all of us, right? And I want you to hear me. I want you to hear me with an open mind and I want you to listen good, right? This video was triggered by a conversation that I just had with uh, one of my friends. You know, we all grew up. We all grew up from the, we all grew up from the hood. We all grew up not necessarily in an environment where we were learning about investing in an environment where we weren't learning about entrepreneurship and business and all of that stuff. And, you know, we were having a conversation after catching up for a few years, man. And the conversation felt like it was deja vu. I felt like, yo, we have had this conversation many, many, many years, um, you know, over and over again. And it was like, this guy has so many ideas. He has so many uh, big dreams and big visions, but they're not very progressive. They, over the past five years, they have made very little to no progress. And during our conversation, you know, his his excuse was, you know, but, you know, coming from where we came from, who knew about investing, who knew about stocks, who knew about business, who knew about entrepreneurship? Well, I didn't know what I was supposed to do with any of that. But this was the same conversation that they were telling me five years ago, right, when we had this conversation. And, you know, at some point, at some point in life, you've got to take responsibility for your growth. At some point in life, you've got to take responsibility for your development. You have got to make it your job. Look, it, re, we can argue all day long whether the, the formal education system should be teaching about investing in business and entrepreneurship and all of that. But we can go back and forth about it till the, co till the cows come home, right? It is our responsibility. It is your responsibility and my responsibility to expose ourselves to the knowledge that is out there. We are living in the information age. Information is rife, right? You have more information at the tip of your fingers than the president of the United States had 40 years ago. It's you understand? We have so much information. We have so much access to knowledge. Um, and so in this day and age, you can't complain that you don't know about something because you can simply hop onto YouTube or simply hop onto Google and find all of the answers and all the information you need. You understand? That is there for you. Number two, it is your responsibility. In this day and age, knowledge alone is not enough, right? In this day and age, um, knowledge isn't power. <clears throat> Only applied knowledge is power because we have so much knowledge at our fingertips. We have so much knowledge and so much that we can do with it that if you are not applying it, you are wasting time. When I do a lot of motivational speaking and I teach a lot of these things, one of the things that I hear the most is, yeah, but we already know this stuff. The point isn't about the fact that you already know this stuff. It is, are you doing this stuff? That is going to be the difference between staying where you are now and being in living the life of your dreams five years from today, right? That is going to be the key. And so it is absolutely essential. We need to take responsibility. Where you are born and the family and the environment you grow up and you are born into is not your fault. But at this stage, knowing what we know now, knowing that we have so much access to information, knowing that we have so much access to knowledge and, and, and wisdom that we didn't necessarily get that we know that can make a difference in our lives now, it has to become your responsibility and you need to become a student of life. You need to be determined to learn more, to do more so that you can become more. We are too old now to use the excuse of, yeah, but how did we know this stuff growing up? It doesn't matter anymore right? It doesn't matter whether you knew this stuff growing up. What are you doing about it now? What are the books that you're reading? What are the seminars that you're attending? 
What are the conference that you are signing up to? What are the courses that you are partaking in? You don't even need to be going to university and getting formal education to be able to live your dreams anymore. You simply have to become a student of life and do the work, do the time that is required to be able to gain and garner the knowledge and apply it. It's as simple as that, you know. And so, yeah, I wanted to come on and give you this pep talk. It really, 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 really does um, trigger me. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm quite passionate in this video, but it really does trigger me when years on end, um, people are using the same excuses. It's a beautiful day in London today. Um, a little bit too bright in my face. Share this down. <sighs> we don't get this in London very much, so I'm very uh, pleased we can start seeing the spring coming forth and all of that good stuff. But anyway, guys, man, I wanted to come on here and share this stuff with you. It is, it is a responsibility that we must all take seriously. It is a responsibility that we must take on our own selves, right? It's nobody's job to teach you anymore. We are too old to be blaming the system. We are too old to be blaming the government. We are too old to be blaming the education system. We are too old to be blaming anybody for where we are in life right now. Bill Gates said, if you are born broke, that's not your fault. But if you die broke, that's your fault. And it sounds really harsh. It sounds really harsh, but that is the truth. It is our responsibility now to make this, to make this happen, to make the changes in our lives because it is possible. It is so possible um, for us to live our dreams. It is so possible for us to pursue whatever we want to pursue. It is so possible for us to gain access to the knowledge and information and the education that will change our lives when we apply it. <laughs> you feel me? And so, listen, more fire, more power to you. I needed to drop this video. I hope it helps. This is a pep talk from Michael Long. Bye.